leisure suit, Larry. I'm s I'm scared. If I were to battle that damn snake again, I'm not I'm not doing it. Like the honor badge things. Oh. But you can get them all with with Chris, right? Nothing useful here. I haven't drank enough water for this to be useful. Okay, so it's like so they're emblems basically. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't like this. I'm not one for horror. I, I'll say I've said it once. I'll say it again. I am not one for horror. Patrick's memoirs too. I cannot stop thinking about the screams of those poor souls imprisoned in the basement. I administered the virus to all of them as per ma instructions one week ago. Whatever they've become now, they're lo they're no longer human. Wait, I totally forgot to fix this. There we go. I cannot stop thinking about the screams of those poor souls imprisoned in the basement. I administered the virus to all of them as per Master Spencer's instructions one week ago. Whatever they've become now, they're no longer human. I have assisted with multiple experiments at Master Spencer's I do not know what it, of what use a simpler butler not schooled in the sciences such as myself can be, but I should be proud that the master trusts me with his important work. He usually has nothing but contempt or distrust for those around him. However, I cannot help but feel a disconnect between how I think I should feel and my actual mental state. On the other hand, I am filled with joy at the chance to assist the master in any way I can. On the other, I feel as though I am losing a bit of my soul with each experiment I assist with. The only way I can preserve my mental facilities is by taking time off, or by trying to divorce myself from all emotion. Whichever the case, I must act and not question the master. Duty and honor. That is what is at stake. For generations, my family has been in loyal service to the Spencer household. I will not betray my duties, and I will serve Master Spencer until the end. I have dedicated my life to, in, my life to serving him, and there is no turning my back on that. It is time to check on the test subjects and report on their current condition to Master Spencer. I will carry out my du my duties, and I will do so honorably. Okay. Hey, look, it's a piano. It says Piano Son Sonata Number Fourteen. Not Moonlight Sonata. Oh. Jill. Oh, I'm not supposed to do this, am I? Come on. Whoa, that closed quickly. Take it. Roger. It's a good thing I played a bit of the first game, isn't it? Because that's going to lock behind, isn't it? Or at least it's supposed to. Have I been in here yet? Don't think so. Yes, I have. It's fun. It's fun to play the piano on the hardest difficulty. Wait, wait, you're supposed to do the piano. I can't do the piano. I'm not a piano player. That's Jill. Jill's a piano player, not me. Which again? Why are you? I least I have the full. I at least I have a full map of this stuff. Um. For a time it appeared as if Master Spencer would recover his former health, but his fate was not so kind, and now he confines himself to a study for days on end. It has been ages since I have seen him take his meals in the dining hall. I have endeavored to prepare meals to his liking to the study. Unfortunately, he lacks the strength to eat anything but soup and other liquids. I cannot recall a time in the history of this household when the situation was as dire as now. In generations past, the Spencer estate was the nexus for only the most well-to-do European socialites. Now only a skeleton staff remains to look after a man who keeps himself in virtual seclusion at one of his many residences. My family has been in the Spencer household service since the time of his great-grandfather. This rapid state of decline would have been unimaginable even to just w even just one generation prior. 
I remember fondly the days of my youth, but that seems like a lifetime ago now. It was about fifty years ago, back when my father was the head butler of the household. At the time I was learning his duties in preparation to succeed him, and there was always some chore or errand that would keep me running around the house. I remember how Lord Ashford, another aristocrat from a storied family, and one of Master Spencer's schoolmates, Dr. Marcus, would find refuge at this villa. My father and I would accompany them and do our utmost to see that they were that they wanted for nothing. Perhaps I was the youngest person there. They would take because, perhaps because I was the youngest person there. They would take to teasing me, though more often than not they would treat me as one of them. I remember the time Lord Ashford gave me my first taste of brandy. It was on the second floor of the dining hall behind the stone statues lining the room. I will never forget the mellifluous scent when he opened the bottle. But those cherished times are only memories now. Lord Ashford, Dr. Marcus, and of course my father have all already passed on. Only Master Spencer remains, and I'm afraid his days may be few. When Master Spencer dies, it will mark the end of me, as well as my family's service to his. For now, I can only wait for the inevitable. There's a note stuck between the last few pages. Ooh, password. Cool. Mine now. I don't skip it. What? But I'm not supposed to... I'm not... Fine, I'm going back. But I remember it from the first game where you're not supposed to be in there because... Locked out. Right? Right? Was it in here? I think so. Yeah. Alright, fine. I'm doing the piano! Fuck's sake, man! Doom, 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 doom. I read this one already, right? Yeah. Girl, play fast. Double time. Demon, I don't know why you keep putting in the Kappa command. I don't see it. Wait, it doesn't lock me in? Why doesn't it lock me in? Oh, shoot the button? Okay, I shot the button. Now what? What? I thought it was supposed to. I thought I needed to have a button. I thought I needed to have an emblem before that. Game. Stop confusing me into thinking this is another game. That's not nice. <laughs> be nice be nice to me, demon. I haven't played this before. Okay, so now what? Back up the stairs? The button does nothing because, but because it glows red, you can convince people of shooting it before going in. You're so mean to me! Demon! Be nice to me! That is so rude! Oh! I saw the thing! Haha! -ha. Are y'all gonna help me get all the emblems? Or get all the stars? Nocturne, that's not funny! Be nice to me! Why are you all so mean? Yeah, y'all help me get the get the stars. For once people can help me instead of me helping people. That'll be exciting. The evil is quite resident in chat. No, I did this. The assist jump, I did it. Also, good grief, woman. What do you want? 
Resident Evil 6? Not right now. Yeah, I did this one already, demon. And through. I don't know what all she's supposed to be doing in there, but... Yeah, she just ran through. <laughs> well, stop being on apps! I need help! Don't be on your phone. Unless you're on Twitch. Then be on your phone. The electronic lock looks, lock's broken so much for going this way. Then where the fuck am I supposed to go?! And you have one door on top to go through. What? No, there's just that door over there. On this side, there's nothing, is there? Oh, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. I'm dumb. Give me a second. Hang on. You get the fuck off your app, sir. You quit that, and you quit it right now. Are there gonna be zombies? I don't want- I don't want there to be zombies. Can I just knife these? Nice. Saving bullets. Can you get infinite ammo for this as well? I have less ammo than you, stop that. Hmm. Can I open the closet? No. <laughs> Boo, you whore. I'll be pretty useless here, I've never played the DLC. Me neither! So we get to both experience this together. It looks like pages from a diary. Some entries are missing. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. That scumbag. Wasn't this in the first game? I think. I feel like it. And that would be cool if there was infinite ammo here. One of the higher-ups assigned, assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla to me. Yeah, this is from the first game! Oh god, are there hunters? Oh no. No, I don't want hunters. I don't want them. Scott said there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, not even on holidays. I've been wearing this damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. A rumor is going around that a researcher tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Let me just say it's been a while since a video game creeped me out and this DLC was one of them. Well, hopefully I won't be creeped out because I have you guys with me. Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy tasty. There's a note stuck between the last two pages. Password three. Nice. The dogs? Yeah, what? He didn't talk about the dogs! Not that he feeds the dogs, but he has to wear a protective suit so that, he, so that he doesn't get bitten. And he hasn't been feeding the dogs, so now they're upset with him. And then, like, as he changes, the dogs start being scared of him. Or something like that. Isn't that what happens? Oh, I don't want hunters! Demon, tell me there's no hunters... I hate them. 
Hunters are the fucking worst. <laughs>